Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. Eight box. Pick your team at number 11 from Jaspies CaseBreaks.com. All card ship. A lot of great stuff here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Here on Tuesday the 10th, pick your team 11. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the team random filler that we did. If you have two rooftops, that means you won an extra spot and then got randomized that team. If you have just a single star next to your name like John does, it's last spot mojo star. Tampa Bay Rays, according to Jaspi Legend, 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. And here is the right break yet. Yeah. There's the draft case right here. And three autographs per box. On average, so they say. And all card ship, including all that paper, all ship, which I think is also also a nice thing. This is jumbo, right? Yeah, we're doing jumbo here. Gotcha, you live in Canada, Nick saying. Also, Nick, you, it sounds like you might be lagging behind a little bit. Make sure, this is for a note for everybody. Make sure you're watching, if you're watching the stream live, hit that live button, make sure it's not grayed out. Make sure it's that dot is red so you're not lagging behind. I feel like Nick's answering my questions a little a few minutes late. Always double check that. Pro tip. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a good part to replay. That's an exciting part. The blank screen, the uh, non-licensed music playing in the background. I guess the uh, the Carlos Correa saga finally over. He's back with the Twins now. On a much smaller contract. And I believe one that is still pending physical, but I think, I think the Twins know what they're getting into now. But um, Still pending physical. And I, there's got to be opt-outs in this. We'll take a look when I'm ripping the next box, but that's, that is the, the saga is over. What a wild, what a wild saga! And our first autograph is David McCabe, and we'll do an auto recap at the very end of this video if you're watching the replay of this. That's Ryan Harold with the Braves, the spot that he won: 158 out of 199, Aqua Lava. All right, yeah, your Mets took three. Yeah, they did take three, a little while to decide. But I think, well worth it. If you're about to spend $300 million on a dude and he's got, you know, what I believe is some sort of leg condition that may be degenerative over the course of 10 years. And, you know, do you really want to spend $3 million on that player? That's why those medicals exist.
And uh, all those Tamar Johnsons, of course, will go to Ryan and the Pirates. He's a nice player to have. Nice draw. little stack. And Jordan Lawler reveals a Ryan Reckley. Aqua Lava 124 out of 199. It'll be for the Giants. That's going to go to Joe. These light blue chrome parallels are not numbered. Everything ships, but that's why I'm breezing by those that are not numbered in case you're wondering. And then we got Mason Wynn, 424 out of 499. Paper for the Cardinals, that's going to go to Ryan Harold. And a Kumar Rocker. These are, uh, these are short printed, usually only one or two per case. Matthew, Matthew Sherrod with the Rangers. Another Tamar Johnson for Ryan and the Pirates. And a redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? Holiday. If we took a holiday, do, 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 it would be, it would be so nice. Jackson Holiday for Jake and the O's. Grizzlebee's guessing a Tamar Johnson or a, some sort of class of 2022 autograph. Holiday. Chrome this time. There's a William Bergola, purple paper, 102 out of 150. Purple paper, majesty, about the fruited plains. We got a Andrew Pintar and a Nate Furman. David with the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. Big hockey's in the house. He's gonna go Romero. Redemption guess. And here's Andrew Pintar to 150 for the Snakes. It'll be for Kevin. Got Eric Brown Jr. Speckle, not numbered. All 
All right. No other guesses, huh? So behind Gavin Cross, it's going to be a Chrome Prospect Auto Purple Refractor Parallel, which should be, should be out of 250. And it's going to be M, Milwaukee, Minnesota. It's going to be Minnesota. It's Brooks Lee. Minnesota Twins. That's going to be for Chris Butler. All right, nice first box. Next box. Not too shabby at all, Brooks Lee. So apparently John Heyman of the New York Post clarifying that the vesting provisions for Correa's options, he would need 575 plate appearances in 2028 to automatically vest his $25 million option for the 2029 season. And those numbers keep dropping as it gets older. Twins can still pick up any of the club options on Correa if he doesn't meet the criteria for plate appearances. He'll still have a full no trade. Yeah, so six-year, $200 million contract with four additional vesting options that could make it 270 over the course of the deal. And Correa, on the other hand, has no opt-outs. So ultimately, the Twins get Carlos Correa back. And I think that that takes all of the, uh, yeah, maybe that does sound like an ease me, right? Stuck in Minnesota. So ultimately, it goes, doesn't really have to go anywhere. I suppose he's gonna he's gonna start looking to buy, not rent. Ah, there's Kenya Huggins to four ninety nine for the red, that's for Tim. Some Elijah Green for the Nationals. Kihun with that one. And a gold Trey Gonzalez. 30 out of 50. Nice little color match there. Going to Ryan Harold and the Pirates. Nice. Another stack. Got Jason Dominguez and Nate Savino. 32 out of 250. Be for Kevin and the Diamondbacks.
It was Caden Wallace. 145 out of 250. Purple paper for Tim and the Royals. I will never be royals. And Ryan Cermak. Tampa Bay Rays. That's going to go to John. Last spot. Mojo strikes again. Second round pick. Jimmy Butler just tie it, tying this game at 12.9 seconds left. They're hosting the uh, Thunder. I read that as uh, I read that as Larry King Jr., not Lamar King Jr. I read that as Larry King Jr. I was like Larry, Larry King. It's possible, I guess. We got some aqua lava, Pete Hansen, and Drew Gilbert is your autograph. Two forty nine out of four ninety nine, and that's going to go to Michael P. and the Strohs. Their first round pick, Pete Hansen. Mm Bob. Twenty five out of one ninety nine will go to the Cardinals. It's going to go to Ryan Harold. Bop, bop, mm bop. Green paper, Kate Horton, here's a who. 45 to 99, green paper for Joe and the Cubbies. All right, onwards, another box coming up. I think with that Carlos Correa deal, that might that might wrap up all the top tier free agents. I guess Nationals signed Corey Dickerson, and yeah, it will just be kind of those kind of deals. Brandon Belt's on the Blue Jays now. Marlins has signed Johnny Cueto. Giants and Luke Jackson signed a two year deal. Brewer signed Wade Miley. AJ Pollock went to the Mariners. I think that we saw that a few days ago. Michael Conforto to the Giants. Is Adam Duvall still sitting out there? I 
think that's pretty much it said. Now, short of any trades going down before pitchers and catchers report, I guess we might, not have, now that Carlos Correa is settled, I wonder if, if we'll see the trade market heat up a little bit. the last bit of that play. So Jimmy Butler ties it and then got the end one Gets the uh, makes the free throw. SGA misses a 27 foot three pointer. Heat rebound, game over. Heat win by one. All right, got some green paper here. Landon Sims. 11 out of 99, Landon Sim City. Kevin with the Diamondbacks. And we got Owen Murphy, 117 out of 199, Aqua, Lava, on card autograph, Ryan Harold. Getting the Braves first round pick, 20th overall. All right, another stack. Jack Brannigan reveals a Victor Acosta, 132 out of 150. For Tim and the Reds. We got Ricardo Cabrera, paper, 299 out of 499. Tim of the Reds. And Ivan Melendez, seven, uh, 11 out of 71, speckle on card autograph. Kevin with the snakes. He's a cold hearted snake. Second round pick, look into his eyes.
And next TNT game, we got a Phoenix at Golden State. Two teams that are struggling a little bit. Injuries, I think, have kind of affected both teams. And Steph Curry is back, too. There's Elijah Green, Kihun, with the Nats. Holiday. And behind Jackson Curio, nice for the Brew Crew, for Keith, is Caden Wallace. 121 out of 150, Blue Wave. A little color match there for Tim and the Royals. A second round pick. And the Curio Aqua Lava Parallel, once again for Keith, that's 160 out of 199. Nice. Got Henry Davis, Aqua Paper to 199 for the Pirates. That'll be for Ryan. Former number one overall pick. All right, another box down, another box to go. Yeah, so far so good, I think. I agree. Always want to see a lot of color. Always want to see a lot of first round picks. <laughs> well, what is, your, what is your team again? What do you have in this one? You are Todd, I think, right? I think you have, you think you have my Dodgers? You bottom straight up. I'm rooting for you. I want to see some Dodgers. Jordan, what's going on, man? Happy New Year to you, too. Has it already been a year? Time flies. Time flies when you're having fun. We haven't seen some. I don't feel like we haven't seen any Dodgers in a little while. Gilo, what's going on? to be due. There's Jacob Melton, blue paper. I'm Melton. I'm Melton. 
Hi, Melton. Michael with the blue paper. And behind Elijah Green Chrome is maybe his future teammate, Jared McKenzie. 29 out of 499. Looks like he's an outfielder. This goes to Ki-hun. Looks like Elijah Green's an outfielder as well. Patrolling the outfield together. Maybe got to see, maybe that guy for big hockey guy. Got Denzer Guzman, Purple Chrome, 165 out of 250 for the Angels. That'll be for Tim. Looking for Dalton Rush. I don't feel. I feel like I've not seen any Dalton rushings in the number of cases that I've done. We got Reggie Crawford, 104 out of 150. Blue refractor for my rivals, the Giants. Joe Simone with the Giants, 104 to 150. Late first round pick. There's Dalton rushing right there. Maybe some color. Reggie Crawford. Paper this time. To four ninety nine for Joe and the Giants. Jackson Holiday, Chrome. Holiday. Some green coming up. That's Leonardo Balcazar and DeAndre Smith behind him. Stephen Carney in the Mets. Stephen got the Mets straight up in this Pick Your Team 11. Bowman Draft Jumbo Edition. And then for the Reds, that's for Tim. Two out of 99.
All right, another box down. Another one to go. More to go. Four more to go. We're halfway through this full case break. Oh, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Take my hand and make it all square. Whoa, living on a prayer. Wobble, 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 wobble. John Bon Jovi is doing right now. What is he up to? Are they touring? Bon Jovi still touring? I think Bon Jovi does. Didn't he or does does he or didn't he own like an Arena League football team or something like that? Do you try to buy the Bills? Does he have, does he have like buy a football team money? And there's Carson Palmquist and reveals holiday. It would be, it would be so nice if we took a holiday. Jackson Holiday, Bowman Chrome Autograph, Jake Joe with the Baltimore Orioles gets the number one overall pick. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for, folks. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. All right, Carson Palmquist, 005 out of 199 for the Rockies. That'll be for Joe Christian. And more Elijah Green for Kihun. More holiday, Jackson Holiday, just rolling in the holidays. It's the holiday season. Ah, he tried to buy the bills. He, he had a group of investors, I see. There's Ignacio Alvarez. 82 out of 199. More Jackson Holiday Chrome this time. Ryan Ritter, Aqua, Lava, Rockies, Joe Christian, 36 out of 199. 
Mahomes has a stake in all the major sports teams in KC except the Chiefs. So, <laughs> all the major sports teams? So, the Royals. Drew Thorpe, Speckle, not numbered. That would be cool, though. If I if I won the uh, if I won a billion dollars from Mega Millions, although I didn't get a ticket today. If I won a billion dollars after I lump sum that baby, am I going to? I might I might try to get into some ownership, some team ownership. There's Dylan Lesko. 227 out of 250. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sporting. How could I forget about sporting KC? Buy a NASCAR team? That that'd be pretty fun. Buy some sort of racing team. Buy an F one team. Or invest in an F one team. With a billion dollars in the lottery, I'll just be like, hey, I'm gonna earmark a hundred million dollars for sporting investment XYZ. I mean every time a well, I don't know how pro I mean NASCAR and F1 I feel like are quite hard to turn a profit on that but but I feel like every time a a one of the every time like a baseball, football or basketball team gets sold you know or even even a a English Premier League football team you can always feel like that's like it's, they're setting records every time they sell a team that value keeps going up. Uh, you'd put a billion in Bitcoin? I don't know if I'd put all of that in Bitcoin. There's a redemption. Anybody wants to take a guess for bragging rights? But I'd sprinkle a little bit in the, in the Bitcoin too. And Jill saying, guys have NASCAR there, the rural folk love it. Non-rural folk love it too. 309 out of 499, Hayden Dunhurst paper for the Royals, speaking of Kansas City. That's for Tim. I guess the better way to do it, Logan, would be like, uh, we're taking more percentage. It'd be like how much percent of your lottery winnings would go to go to crypto. It's Logan Tanner, Cincinnati Red Legs. Tim with the Reds. Is this a good time to buy low on, on crypto? Maybe not all crypto, maybe uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum. All the other ones, I feel like you can't really, I mean, my money would be too scared. But yeah, it's been making a little bit of a comeback.
Oh, there you go, Logan. That's a nice little deal. Gilo says, I want Bowman Drug, but it's stressing me out because any player can blow, so I need every team. Well, Gilo, thankfully, Jaspies, we do personal breaks. Oh, let me drop that link into the chat. This is a great segue. At Jaspies Breaks on Instagram Live. Go there, personal. You can get a personal box of this. That way you'll get everything. No Tamar yet, Ryan Harold. No Tamar yet. Play to the whistle, man. We still have three boxes left. Nine autographs to go. Rex was watching a, a guy on Rogan that said crypto will uh, will be worth nothing in 10 years. Yeah, well, I think everyone's a little split on that. I don't know. Ten years is a uh, ten years is a long time in crypto. There's green paper, Nick York, seventy two out of ninety nine. And a lot can change in ten years, especially with technology growing exponentially. All the issues with. Uh, I don't know. I feel like usually people who are who are bullish about uh, about crypto failing, I think, oftentimes are the people who just I don't know. It's Joe Lamb. I love Lamb. Maybe bullish about bullish against it. I don't know if really if they're really seeing the potential of it. Yeah, but for every Peter Zahan, Rex, I could find some other expert that says, you know, that says the opposite about about crypto. Just because he shows up on Joe Rogan doesn't mean that he has any more credibility. But I think end of the world books have been a, have been a popular seller since the dawn of time. <laughs> since since books can be printed in red. 52 out of 199, Roger Garius. But I think with all the FTX drama and everything, um, Ultimately, especially in 10 years, that might even, there may be uh, enough changes in regulations that'll actually help crypto a lot more. Do I think Cubs are going to trade Cody Bellinger at the deadline? He signed a one-year deal. I mean, only if Bellinger is doing well, I suppose. Otherwise, wouldn't really have any trade value. So, so that's saying, so... If they do trade him, then that probably means he's doing well. There's Landon Sims. And Kathy Wood is kind of on the other end of that extreme, right? If if uh, Peter Zahan is saying crypto is going to be worthless in 10 years, this goes to Kevin. 
by the way. Uh, Kathy Woods, on the other hand, is on the other end of that extreme. <laughs> I'm a little more moderate. Fresh West, how can you tell what date you're buying for? You can't tell on the website. There's no date. We go by break number. So this is, uh, for example, this break we're doing right now is 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball, 8-box jumbo, pick your team 11. So let's say you joined that break a couple days ago and you don't see that break number on the site anymore. You can assume that the break has filled and it has happened and we upload the video almost immediately after the break. So then you can look at the list of videos and go, oh, there's Pick Your Team 11. Yes. Hoops does come out tomorrow. We got pre-orders of that on jaspyscasebreaks.com right now. First break sold out already. That'll be the first one that Jason Jaspie will do tomorrow morning. And then I'll tag in in my usual time tomorrow to do some more. Pre-order jaspyscasebreaks.com. Yeah, you can catch it live if you want to, Fresh West. Just, uh, just check out the schedule that dropped in the chat by Nightbot. And that'll tell you when when a break will happen, if you want to try to catch it live. That's where our schedule is. But it's all spontaneous. We don't really know when any break's going to fill. So that's why we just kind of have to keep an eye on the schedule. Just keep an eye on the spots left number on the site. That Once that gets close to zero, then you know it's probably going to happen at a certain point. Sometimes some breaks have fillers attached to it where we give away spots in the main break. So sometimes we have to do a couple of those to give away the remaining spots. But really the schedule is the important thing to, to follow. There's Joss Kasevich and Jimmy, I'm not a crooks, 233 to 250. Yeah, no worries, Freshways. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but once you kind of get the rhythm and the momentum of it, it's not rock and science. It's pretty easy. It's not trying to, it's not Bitcoin. I'm not trying to understand crypto. It's pretty easy. There's Jimmy Crooks to uh, Ryan Harold and the Cardinals. Nice. That is a uh, fourth round pick. Josh Kasevich, yellow parallel for the Blue Jays. It's going to go to Joe Christian. That's the 75. Jackson Holiday. All right, two more boxes to go. Still six autos to go. Steven Punk saying his Cubs playoffs next year. If so, what, what does that mean? That probably means, means Cody Bellinger is, has returned to MVP form. That would be one of the reasons why. Are there any Marlins cards in the set? Uh, I have to say, the Marlins are one of the cheaper teams in this set. I think it's only a $40 team, so. You know, and the price is usually based on quantity and quality. I don't think there's too many Marlins, but hopefully we'll, I mean, but if we hit one, that'd be nice.
Oh, did he? Bellinger gets a million dollar incentive offer if he wins. Is that really enough? Is that gonna incentivize him? What is a million dollars of his $18 million contract? 5% If uh if your if your company Rex offered you a 5% raise is that, is that enough for you to work harder if you became employee of the year. Are the Cubs still out there in NT? Tomorrow's NT? Dansby Swanson for that. That, yeah, that'd be that'd be a hell of a season. Danzy Swanson hits 40 homers. 409 out of 499. Alex Freeland for the Dodgers. That's going to go to Todd. Todd was waiting on some Dodgers. Third round pick. Hey, yeah, a guy. Got a guy. There's Carson Palmquist, 489 out of 499. Cubs also have Hosmer now, Gilo is saying, well, let, let's lock them in for, the, for a World Series appearance. Isn't it time for uh are we are we getting close to win total season like like the Vegas books should be releasing major league baseball win totals soon I I feel like I'll be some good discussion there It's Troy Melton to 450 Tigers that's going to be for Tim and more Elijah Green for Ki Hoon. No, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Rex Kroger doesn't do uh, doesn't do employee of the month or year anymore. Why not? What, 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 do, do, would you get anything back in when they did do that? Would you get something? You get a prize? You fat, they pad the paycheck a little bit, or is that it? Logan says at the post office, where Logan works, uh, if you work hard, your reward is more work. Oh, redemption. Can, there's only one team that has that. Kansas City, Gavin Cross. That's going to be for Tim. I think that's one of the players he was looking for. Chrome Prospect Autograph, Orange Parallel. Nice, Orange. Nice little Jaspi Orange Parallel. Some Jaspi Orange back there. I like our new gray mat right here. I think I feel like that color contrast is a lot better. Jack Brannigan to 250 purple paper. Pirates, that's going to be for Ryan Harold.
Who's the Dodgers' top prospect? Um, probably the that catching prospect, Diego Cartaya. A hitting catcher, catching prospect. You can hit a little bit. We've got Averson Arteaga and out of 75, Ryan Cermak. That is for John and the Rays. Last ball mojo. There's Avis and Arteaga to 199. So I said he wants it. The harder you work, the more work an employer put on you. Yeah, that makes sense, right? And if I see someone work hard in here, I want to give them more responsibilities and give them more work, and usually that means more money. Yeah. Yeah, Tim's an employer. And the harder people work, the faster they get a raise. Exactly. And I suppose it's the places that that give you more responsibility and work and then and then not pay you. <laughs> I guess I suppose that's what maybe that's what Rex and Logan are talking about. Oh yeah, so Reg, yeah, that's that's what I thought you were saying. Yeah, this Rex saying that study was saying you'll be given more work for the same pay, and you don't work for that company. <laughs> you move on. Final box, final three autographs. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Fingers crossed, play to the whistle. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's the incentive here. Do more dual casers. Fancier cars appear in the garage. I don't. Th I don't think Donner's Optic Baseball dual cases, Gilo, are are getting Jaspi's uh, employees Porsche money. <laughs> There's Drake Baldwin. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Ryan Harold with the Braves. I, I don't mind the employment talk, Ryan, as 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 someone who is in a uh, a, a senior leadership position here at a certain small business. It's something that I I like thinking about a lot. But I would love Jude Bellingham to go to Liverpool. Liverpool definitely need that 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 midfield boost. There's Elijah Green Chrome, but I feel like a lot of people will be vying for his signature. 
So, I think, uh, well, first of all, I think Liverpool need to do something in, in January to just kind of, a lot of injuries, maybe reinforce the team a little bit. There's Yasser Mercy, purple paper, in order to get to a Champions League spot at minimum. So they need that because I don't think Jude Bellingham's coming to Liverpool without Champions League play. He's certainly going to want that. And then you just got to back up the Brinks truck or the uh, whatever the English equivalent of the Brinks truck is. And then be like, here, Jude. Hey, Jude. Come to Liverpool. And they'll be singing Hey Jude in the stands for you. It's just what's perfect from the terraces. You know, not, not, not goof around. Just pay the transfer fee. Get the weekly wages sorted. And just get it done. That should be the first signing. The, day the, the, the first day the summer transfer window is open. Is Oscar Colas paper to four ninety nine? Oh, and there's Troy Melton. I, I that I do, Danny. I, that that exactly that's exactly what I drive. A S type Mini Cooper four door go kart handling. A lot of power in that sport mode. Yeah, as a bit of an angle file, I also enjoy the enjoy the uh, sporty Mini Cooper Corolla. I, w I wouldn't get a Tesla either. Only fossil fuel cars for me. Oh, that's right. You did see it when you were at the shop. Uh, no, Rex. We we just get we just get paid. Uh, we just get paid in vet commons. Getting a Mini Cooper, folks, definitely get the pay up for the S-Type. Otherwise, you're just buying a regular car. There's Drew Gilbert, but if you want something with a little pep in its step. Twenty out of fifty, there's Drew Gilbert. Gold Wave, that's gonna go to Michael and the Astros. There's Brady House, 251 out of 499. Take it to the house. Kihun. <laughs> Chilo, if I were able to power a car on the tiers of people who on the on the uh, tiers of people who buy into fillers on their sad sad tiers. I feel like we would solve we would solve any energy problem uh, in in this calendar year, and that's that. Uh oh, <laughs> Justin weighs too much. 
And it's sort of, sort of a weird angle on the uh, on the parking garage here. Here's our little recap. Not a bad break at all. Some nice autographs, some nice color, tons of numbered, non-auto numbered card parallels. There's the Jackson Holiday was pretty great. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.